So you started using fountain pens. You completed the tutorial starter pack with either a Muji or a Lamy Safari. And now you're looking into something better. Another steel nib? Nah. An interesting filling system? Perhaps. But most of the average ones are with steel nibs. So what should you do? You took your eyes to some of the entry-level gold nib selection and landed on a few Japanese models. In this review, I will walk you through why a Pilot fountain pen with a gold nib and a piston filler would be your best option for your first high-end pen. And this is the review of the Pilot Custom Heritage 9.2. If you would like to support the channel, please consider clicking the like button and subscribe. And if you are looking to buy your next fountain pen, notebooks, or inks, please check out a writing guy shop on Instagram for your next purchases. I do worldwide shipping and 24-7 customer support. Out of the big three of Japan, Pilot seems to be the most tamed and contemporary in terms of design, and especially for a model that's released in 2010s, as in the model number 92. This is 92 years into the company's history. It is as evident from the silhouette of the pen to some of the more minute details. The overall design is quite similar to their more classic looking Custom 74, which is a really popular first gold nib pick respectively but with a contemporary detail added to the mix the two finials are squared off with a slight step down shorthand clip instead of a triangular one with an old man ball looking thing at the end no more dated pilot engraved on the top of the clip moving your eyes along the cap you get a double cap band but with the transparent resin used for the 92 it would be obvious that the band is a single piece of rhodium plated metal it still looks good at a distance and close up with my macro lens. turning the cap to full turn you can now reveal the nib and the transparent section which we'll get into in a bit the barrel is also a piece of transparent blue resin showing you the piston mechanism and you can use a wrench to open the whole mechanism apart for silicon lubing the nib is a pilot number no. five size 14 karat gold plated with a layer of rhodium to give it that more modern silvery aesthetic they still keep their signature nib engraving on the 92. And personally, out of the big three, Pilot gets my vote for the most gorgeous nib design. I would have to remind you that there is a clear distinction between a gold nib and a soft nib. Depend on the gold alloy, some may not be advertised as soft or flexible by the manufacturer, but can still give you a bit of line variation and vice versa. In the case of Pilot Snip, their standard gold ones give you a bit of bounce, so your writing experience would be smooth and effortless. And do not expect them to carve out exquisite calligraphy style flex strokes. This particular fine nib has that signature bounce, and I like it as a whole, and the 92 is a writer's pen, something you want to take with you and write for many long hours. It is especially useful for students who has to take notes with them during many lectures and class hours. But now the need for such a dedicated pen is reduced due to the use of recording devices and laptops. However, as your first gold nib fountain pen, I believe that you can experience a lot of things with this one pen. A transparent demonstrator design, a piston filling mechanism, a twist cap pen, and a consistent gold nib. Most fountain pen newbies that came to me for pen recommendations tend to pick something that they are relatively familiar with, as in the same brand but an upgraded version. And that's not a bad thing to do because you already have an, an impression of what their products do and the variation would not stray too far off from what you have been familiarizing yourself with. New experience is always good in the sense that they let you know firsthand whether you like it or not. In the case of the 9.2, you get to experience a gold nib to see if the extra smoothness is worth the price. And if you really need to have such a hardcore piston filler for the maximum ink capacity, all of those things combined with a rough $200 price tag might be a good starting point for anyone who would like to venture deeper into the world of high-end fountain pens. Overall, in 2023, the Custom Heritage 9.2 is still a solid choice for a dedicated writing instrument and with a large ink 
capacity, a fill could last you quite some time. Now, I would like to hear from you as well. Do you have experience with the custom Heritage 92? Or would you like to add it into the collection? Please comment down below. For more fountain pen related content and written reviews, please check out awritingguide.com. And for regular updates and reels and more short videos, you can follow me on Instagram and TikTok. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one.